Week three in the Belgian Pro League playoffs and a huge game in Brussels between the top two headlining and elected home to Union saint gilles Before that, in the title playoffs, it's Circle of Bruges against Racing Genk and Club Bruges Antwerp. The European playoffs see St. Trotten host Standard Liège, Mechelen entertain Westlo and leaders Gens go to Leuven. In the relegation games, it's Or WDM Eipen and Kortrijk Charleroi. So at the top going into this week, Union and Anderlecht locked together on 35 points, Club Bruges in third, but right behind them, the two teams will see first, Sac Le Bruges and Racing Genk. The chasing pack is closing in on the top of the Belgian Pro League. It's fourth against fifth, with the winners going third. It's a real cavalry charge on Grand National Day. Sekla, the sort of team who are very good at interrupting opponents' confidence. And Denki's almost scored a beauty there. Good improvisation from the league's leading scorer. The back heel almost nipping it under the crossbar. Quick reaction by Martin van der Vaartz. Open up for Kiembe and Tolo! 10 for the season for Tolo! Two and three games, and Genk's march towards the top is continuing. They only crept through on the final night of the regular season, but they are here, and they're not just content with a European spot. <laughs> Openings here for Joris Kembe, and he wants Tolo, and he almost found him. And look at where it's fallen to. Bilal al just wide. Brilliant opening. It just opened up in front of him so swiftly when Tonner couldn't reach it. And he managed to not make Darlin at the same time. And it just wouldn't quite creep in. Brilliant chance for game second. Agonizingly close for Bilal al -Kanous. Decent chip by Galasa, beyond Tolu, Kiembe! Good save, Wallison. Point blank, it's become his middle name. Good chance to bring it almost out of sight for Racing Genk there. Galas has taken it well and cleanly. Trying to get Tolo away! And he's been hauled down by Popovic, and he's been sent off! Popovic with his second red in four games. And there was cover, but it was a clear goal-scoring opportunity too. Just past halfway, that is an instant red shown by Lawrence Visser. Right there, he was the last man Cover or not. It's made it all the more difficult for Circle Bruges now. And yet a leg base equalised! A complete howler in the gank defence! And Circle are level! The 10 men equalised with 13 minutes to go! That's really shaking it up. Kazim Alegbe's fourth goal since coming from Southampton at the start of the season, missed by Sadiq, and then completely missed by Van der Vaart. It bounced off Alegbe, pushed it off the circle of players' feet. I don't think that's going to be chalked off at all.
It's El Canus. Congested area, looking for the flick on. Brilliant save, Wallace into the line, McKenzie. What would have surely been the winner. What a brilliant stop. Superb header by Wallison, who is surely the goalkeeper of the playoffs so far, if not the calendar year. And it ends 1-1. What a great chance for Sackler to win the game at the end. Genk will feel they've let this one slip away. They are third anyway, but instead of going two points off the top, it is four instead. The champions are struggling in their title defence, losing their first two in the title playoffs. Today they try and fix things away to the side that have won the previous three crowns and are trying to bridge the generation gap for Belgium in Europe. Good ball, punched away by Senna Lavance. It's back out for Maxim de Kuyper again, Skourash. Better angle to cross, a beauty, and almost 1-0. Meyer was in there. On your dick in the centre as well. I think on your dick took it away from Bjorn Meyer. It was heading straight for the Dutchman. Van Aken, good try. Nice save by Senna Lamens. In swinger coming from Maxim de Kuyper, and he dealt with the wall very well. And it's fallen invitingly, and it's in! Rafael Onyedika breaks the deadlock. Three goals in two games for the Nigerian international. And the goal streak is on. And clubs are set closer and closer to the top. Is never ending. Nusa played it through brilliantly, but Leyson almost picked out Hans Van Aken. None of the sides who've taken the lead so far in any of the playoff games so far this weekend have ended up winning. That's going to be a yellow against Rafael Onyedika. That is going to be his third of the playoffs. He's going to miss the big topper against Union next week. His first three playoff games have each seen a yellow card. Antwerp were protesting for more. Three playoff games, three yellow cards, and that is a straight-off bat in the minimum amount of time possible. Hecklen Kamp, good save. Norden Yakers cut the angle down well, and that's a very good stop. And that is a lot more like it from Antwerp. Meyer pulled it all the way across, Goresh! 2-0! Poles apart now! Mihao Skourash! Hank Labrouge have got a second. He's waited a long time for his first league goal for Club Bruges, but it has arrived, and in a biggie against Antwerp. Let's take it away well. 
George Hill and Nakane are trying to get space to shoot! And he has that! Good try, George! Jansen losing out and taken by Eda Valanta. Chance to ease the pressure. Chance to get another move going. It's Ferenc Jukla down the middle. Eager Thiago in support. Sent it instead. Sikkenagel. Three. And three of the best for Club Bruce today. They're going two points off the top. Seven games to go. Downcast no more. They're well in this title race too. Antwerp outgoing champions. But is the crown heading back to Bruges maybe? Well claimed by Balanta, set your clue away. Igor Thiago was in support, but he saw Zinkenagel completely unmarked, unspotted, fine finish, and it's three. And that'll do it. Club Bruges beat Royal Antwerp by three goals to nil. Raphael Onyedika, Mihaus Skorash, and Philip Zinkenagel with the goals. And they dominated so much of it. It's the biggest Brussels derby in decades. First against second in April. Unio Sancho was top since October, facing second place Anderlecht. Both locked at the top, both losing last week. Is this the day where something finally gives? Tier Leone just trying to break free the not won by Ritz and the early strike, a real test of Dolberg goal! Ten minutes, and elect ahead, parried by Morris. Kasper Dolberg breaks the deadlock. And Uno just can't keep a clean sheet right now. Another game where Uno fall behind first. Just about onside, Leone. He was certainly interfering with play, then nodded on by Ritz. Debas with a real thunderbolt, Murray's parrying right into the path of Dolberg, right where he didn't want it to end up. Sardella's strike, got a lot behind it. Short one this time. Stroikens, played back in by Torganata. Mario Stroikens again, Augustinson. Augustinson's in! Good save, Maurice. He's a good shot stopper, it's another parry. Union trying to push on. It's with Puertas. Facing Sardella and past him. Puertas on the way. Good strike. And Schmeichel down well to keep it out. A little bit of movement in the box. I think just before the corner was taken. Dolberg. It's off the line. What a clearance off the line by Sykes. And Elector appealing if there was a clash. <laughs> Siddiqui thundering forward. Here's Amora. Quick ball, great ball. Puertas is in. Good save by Schmeichel. Spread himself superbly. Nielsen going down. Puertas trying to wade in again on Killian Sardella. He's still down. Penalty! Zeno de Bast is on a yellow. He's been sent off here. It's his second yellow. Puertas. Equalises. It's 1 1 in the derby. It's the goal that would keep Uni on top. And there's still 25 minutes to go. 
And there's still a lot of heat in this game. Francis Amuzu puts Anderlecht in front for the second time. And Union caught out. And this is the scoreline that would put Anderlecht top again. It happened quickly. And after six months, Union fall off the top, and Anderlecht for the first time in six years at top of the league. And they do it in deepest April. Francis Amuzu with the winner with 15 minutes to go. Another fans' protest marking Standard Liège being already out of contention in the European playoffs. Another moribund season for them. For St. Trudon, though, still plenty to play for. Lying second in the European playoffs group, four points behind leaders' gains. For them, omens are very good indeed. Canaries have pressed very well early on. And Anu, Ito, Eric Boca. Oh, what a finish, and what a start for St. Trudon. Ahead after only three minutes. Boca letting fly. He always has this kind of goal in him, but it's only his second of the season. Adanu receiving a very good move. Ito taking control, losing possession, but Boca taking over, and that is a superb finish. The response from Standard Liège. It's swift now. Decent break forward. Chinak, decent save. It's in. Wilfred Kanga equalizes. Eight minutes played. And this time, Standard were back on cue and back level very quickly, which is not always the case with them. Chinak strike. One of the best players we. Don't see very many starts from him. Good burst forward. The parry by Suzuki and in by Kanga. Well, Torsten Fink has got St. Troden playing some really good football. And here they come again. Kanga giving it away. Koita! Good effort. Well, didn't he get behind that really well? He's in the top four in the league's highest scorers all season. Lovely try from 25. Ito. Really decent capture. That's a brilliant try and parried again by Bodar. What an effort. Good save. Kanga working on the left. Support from William Balakwisha. Got it deep and Price first time. And Suzuki saving well again. Isaac Price, the Northern Ireland international, met that really sweetly. First time. Decent game, 1-1 one, one at the break. It's been entertaining. Corner went deep. It's been a real scramble. Smets and Sabaho coming together. And Wesley de Kramer has given the penalty. It's the eighth that Standard have given away all season. It's Koita. It's saved by Bodar. Terrific stop. That will help the belief, which quite often this season has been very low for Standard Liège. Bodar down well in saving. Definitely a lift that they're not behind. Kawabe, good cross. Balakwisha, lovely finish. Standard Liège ahead just before the R mark. What a lovely goal. A very, very impressive finish 
third of the season, second in the league. Superb clean technique. That was a perfect strike to beat Suzuki. Sent forward by Balakwisha again, and the back pass cut out by Kanga, and it's three. Ten minutes to go. Standard of three went up. It's turning into one of their best nights in recent months. The back pass played everybody on side, and Kanga anticipated it coming. Rounded Suzuki to slot in, and Walker Janssen's big giveaway. Ryotaro Ito, the strike inviting and low from Ito, and it's in on the rebound, Adriano Battagini. Seven minutes remaining. St. Trodin's head to a knockdown for long. Decent try by Ryotaro Ito. Bona parrying, and Bertaccini with his first ever top division goal, having scored 11 for Liège this season. Saw FC Liège. Alive again for St. Trodin, and lots of stoppage time to come, they know that. Fatikaya, 3-3! They've done it! Collided with Kanga there, Kaya. It's been a major collision between these sides in the first place. It's got very untidy, but Kaya through to score. His first league goal for St. Jordan in almost two years with them. He netted in last season's cup tie against amateur side Mio, but in the league, Fatty Kaya opens his account, and it's St. Jordan three, Stanley A three. What a comeback. Boda. Launching it long, the 14th minute of stoppage time, and Kanga could win it! And he almost did! That close. It would have been a hat trick, it would have been a winner for Standard Liege. Just wide. A breathtaking game. Standard leading 3 1 with six minutes to go, but reeled in. Torsten Fink and St. Trodin. Edge a point closer to Ghent, but they may well feel that they're going to lose ground this weekend. For Standard, only one loss in four, but still just one win in five for the Roosters. Where do they go from here? Centrone three, Standard Liège three. Mechelen four points off the top of the European playoffs. Westlo bottom of the European group, but at least they're staying up. Plenty of options forward. Slimani, good back heel. It's Ehrmans, just wide. They are a really good attacking team. Tour Romans has a bit of space suddenly for Westlo. That's a good try. Gaetan Cook getting down. Mecklen getting away with it. Certainly, remnants of a good side they were promising last season. Yao, it's in by Alcosa. Josimar Alcosa puts Westlo into the lead. It's his first goal for the club. Our Westlo lead after 26 minutes. Yao, good ball into Alcosa. And that's the advantage. Westerlo pressing still. Vermont for two. Two goals inside two minutes. Just shy of the half hour mark. And Westerlo are two up. The Club Bruges Loney, Romeo Vermont. That is a lovely finish. 2 0. Brian Reynolds working well down the right. Kananga managing to get it away, and Vermont on target. Chance for Fluka to pull it back. Slimani's in there, almost into the net. Sinan Bolat down well. Bolat's free kick. Good first half for Westerlo. 
Free kick against Alcosa. Not moving far. Romeo Vermont is hanging around as well, and Romeo Vermont picks up a yellow card from referee Arthur Donnell. And it's another yellow. Well, what was that for? Was that for touching the referee? That is extraordinary. Romeo Vermont has been sent off just like that. That is a disappointing call, I think. That is intolerant officiating. And Westlow down to 10. Decent one for Storm down the left-hand side. Slimani in position, straight at Bola, right in front of goal, couldn't finish, and just over the top by Hermans on the rebound. What a chance for Mecklen there against the 10 men. Right in front of goal for Slimani. Bola, reaction save. Hermans with the corner. It's come right through, off the crossbar and in! Come out! Mechelen have a goal back. A real scramble in the West Low area. It fell from Bates. He touched it onto the bar. Come out, Senna. And that is onside. It will count. Wide to Nicholas Storm again. It's good to see him coming back towards his best after quite a long time out this season. Slimani's in. He's done it. He's waited quite a while for that. His first goal for Mechelen. In the top two of the goal scorers of Anderlecht last season, and it is 2-2. His first goal since coming back from Brazil. Storm is in. Bursting down the left-hand side. Nicolas Storm. Bolat saving it. Mecklen fancy the victory now. Hermans. Rob Scovesen range outside the area. It is his range. It's not his moment, but it was very close. Good try. Aspalat over the free kick. Close run thing. Wesselow still fancy all the points themselves. And here they come again, Wesselow. In the 90th minute, Hansen Orchuk from halfway. He's seen Cook off his line. Just wide. That would have been one of the most dramatic winners of the season. Storm, chance to pull it back. On goal. Mechelen from 2-0 down to 3-2 in front. In the third minute of stoppage time. The comeback is complete. Mechelen lead, finally. They were threatening it. A good break forward by Nicholas Storm and turned into his own net by Ravel Tajir. Mechelen go within a point of getting to the top of the European playoffs. Westlow will be upset at the sending off, which played a major role in their 2 0 half time lead. Ghent have been dominating the European playoffs as they have done for the previous three seasons. The route a lot longer this time, though. A guaranteed European playoff final, likely against the fourth places in the title race. Lavener 14 points off the pace. Their season meandering towards a close. I'm Van Isabrook. Has got very used to this playoff system. Fernandez Pardo. Gandelman's waiting in the middle. Just wide from a man in brilliant goal scoring form. Almost a goal in the opening minute. Hong to Sadali, dumbing it. What a brilliant try for Julien Desart, and that is very much his territory. Just wide. Good ball launched forward, Tissadali. Fighting off Russo. Tissadali, great ball, some wars. Decent save by Toba Lyson to push it away. Kent looking threatening. All Kent largely so far. Horsteinson, and it's in for Matthew Mertens, and Lavin in front. Midway through the first half, they've soaked up a huge amount of Ghent pressure, and they have capitalised. Long from Lyson, 
ending up with Torsteinsen in the middle, had received it from Matthew Martin, sending the captain away, and that's a nice finish. Love and 1 0 up against the runner play. Quick cut out, Lewison has lost it to Hong. The strike suddenly in Fernandez Pardo equalizes. It's barely taken two minutes. His third goal in four games. A brilliant start to his professional career, nice and furious. And perhaps justifiably so. Cut out by Hong. And Fernandez Pardo, a few tries, good save, first of all. But scoring on the rebound, Hong with the cutout. And the 19 year old doing the rest 1 1. Really open first half. Hong getting it forward to Sidali. Good close control. Fernandez Pardo off the crossbar. And Love and holding on. Ghent exuding calm and control. Torsteins. Flopped into the area, it's Martens, what a goal! Matthew Martin scores a beauty! Two today from the captain. And Lovin are back in the lead. His fifth goal of the season, his third in the league. Having scored against Westlow in February, he's got two today. Encouraging stuff for Lovin. Samoas in the middle for Fernandez Pardo. Back towards Samoas again. Lyson saving it well. Played a big role in that, Samoas, but Lyson, good stop. Torsteinsen on the counter attack. It's Brunes. Lovely goal. Jonathan Brown Brunes makes it three. What a fine goal. The flag was being waved by Ein van Eisenbrook and it is offside. Only just, but it's offside. Fernandez Pardo, chance to equalise. Just over the top. Right at the end in the 89th minute. Well, this young player is a brilliant prospect. Kent trying to earn the point. A win for Oscar. Only love in second in nine games. A bit of an upset for. Ein van Eisenbrook and Ghent, they had their chances, 16 of them, but not enough. Mecklen are just a point off them now, and the task becomes that bit harder. And next week, it is Mecklen they face. It's become just a bit more interesting now. Love and two, Ghent one. Two of the clubs that have struggled more than most this season in the Pro League or WDM bottom with no wins in 14. The Edmund Markton Stadium empty as punishment for the interruption to the previous meeting against Stoipen a couple of months ago, but still plenty of fans outside to gauge their reaction today. Different coaches in charge now. Yannick Ferreira at or WDM, Christopher Anderson and Raphael Fever in charge of Oipen. Charles Cook bursting forward, good break, caught by Buron, penalty. It is a penalty for Open in this empty stadium midway through the first half. Regan Charles Cook coming through. More problems for Yannick Ferreira, a 16th penalty awarded against Door WDM this season, and that is now an all time top flight record. Gary Manier facing Hubert. And in his third goal of the season. 15 out of those 16 penalties have been scored against Door WDM. And I've been given a good lift. Yannick Ferreira, the fourth coach of the season for Door WDM. Extraordinary. Messier with the corner. Maktake's header came off. An arm, perhaps Keita, and the final effort over the top. Obviously, the VAR team will have a look at that. But referee Kevin Van Damme having already awarded a penalty to Eupen in this first half. So sent in by Mercier, the header by Gay. Arm is up, it's the trailing arm. Penalty. 
It is a penalty toward WDM. Gay against Gabriel Slanina. And it's been saved. Abe equalizes. Four minutes to half time. Slanina appealing. Gay stepping up. Was there encroachment? Abe with a very good finish. Decent cross by Carlos Alberto for Abe. He's done it again. His third goal of the season. It's his first double for WDM. His first goals since coming from FC Tokyo at the start of the season and his first brace in four years. What a lovely cross. Or WDM in front. Carlos Alberto. Decent break. Oh, must be. Biron on the line. Couldn't touch it in. Or WDM know this story. What a chance. Slight deflection. Carlos Alberto has made a lot of work for Or WDM. Dion. Deep cross. Kaita. Miscued. He had the penalty given against him and it was opening up in front of him there. Chance of the counter attack for OWDM. No free kick for open that time. They've got five, six coming forward here. Decent break forward. It's three. Gay slips it into the near post. Are they? Getting the ball through, and Magda Gay, picture perfect. In a season that's been very much out of focus. Or WDM three, open one. Free kick on the way in, slight coming together. And now the counter attack. Quite a bit of jostling in the area here. Saar and Bialek under focus, and it is a third penalty. A second today against or WDM, a 17th this season. Mane, saved by Uber. What a fine save by Uber. To keep it at 3-1. It's been a crazy game. It's open up, Magda Gay. Chance for four, Slanina standing up to save it. Extraordinary. He found himself in, one-on-one, -on -one, or WDM's first win for 120 days since December 16th here against St. Troden. And after 14 games without a win, finally a victory without fans to climb out of the bottom two. Or WDM three, open one. Charlotte top of the relegation playoffs by five points. Courtrike aiming for the win that would get them out of the bottom two automatic relegation places. Kadri with the corner for Courtrike. Aim deep to Zako and just over the top. Coffee with a pushover. Midway through the first half. That's the best chance we've had today. Sazako stretching, looping over. Coffee with a stretch. Kadri from the left hand side. They're putting good pressure on in stoppage time. Davis puts Kortrijk in front. And the Carols are into the lead. His 10th goal of the season. And if they stay up, the Welshman will be a prime man for them to thank. It was a decent corner. Came off, I think, Mampassi on the way. Kadri sending it in. And Davis touching it home past Coffey. They just didn't see him. They didn't pick him up at all. Kortrijk's top scorer touching it in. Well, that'll make the locals happy. Kortrijk won up at half time. Charlo is storming forward well. Dan Amons. Gagnon on the left. 
teeing it up. It's come all the way across to Bernier. 1-1. One, one. Antoine Bernier, who's having a decent season, brings Rick de Mille's side level. Eight minutes into the second half. Eamon's certainly prominent. Gagnon continuing the burst. Came all the way through, and that was very clever by Ode Daba to get out of the way in front of goal and to stay on side. Bernier with the level at 1 1. That'll make them happier. Been quite a few fan protests with Charlotte this season. Coffee. Oh, careful. Careful. Have a coffee going on walkabout. Sort of thing that can turn a coach's hair grey very quickly. He's got the confidence for this, and that little flick got it away from Davis. Luckily, very embarrassing. Got away with it. Not sure how, but he got away with it. Charlotte are continuing to press. Dare wins it in the third minute of stoppage time. Akrof Dare. And that might well be the goal to keep Shalawa up. A well-floated corner, he rose well, far up at the near post. And nobody else able to get there. Rick DeMille gets his first win as Shalawa boss. And a very significant victory for Shalawa. They go well clear in the bottom three. He has had some season. Starting at Club Bruges, then West Lowe, now Shalawa. This season about survival. Next season about rebuilding. Courtrike's troubles are growing, however. Courtrike one, Shalawa two. 29 goals in the eight games, starting with that dramatic 3 3 draw with St. Tron and Standard Liege. Or WDM coming from behind to beat Open. Mechelen likewise from two down to see off West Lowe 3 2. In the Champions playoffs, Circler and Genk with that well contested one all draw. Club Bruges having their emphatic 3 0 win over Royal Antwerp. And Anderlecht holding firm to see off Union 2 1, a very significant result. Charleroi coming back to win at Kortrijk. And Love and interrupting Genk's progress to win 2 1 at Dendry. So for the first time since August 2018, Anderlecht are top of the Pro League. Three points clear of Union, who are winless in five, their worst run in five years. Club Rouge in third are five points down. Genk could be there too, but for the draw with Circle, they're seven off the top. Genk's lead in the European playoffs is down to a single point with seven rounds to go. Mechelen just a point behind. They face off next week. St. Trodin still in touch in third. In the relegation playoffs, Charleroi are now six points clear. And all WDM, with their first win in four months, are off the bottom and into the promotion relegation playoff spot. Open and Courtright make up the bottom two. They would go down automatically. Leaders and are back in action on Saturday night away to racing Genk, who are unbeaten in five. Circler and Antwerp meet Sunday lunchtime. And it's second against third at Duden Park Sunday evening, Union hosting Club Bruges. In the Euro playoffs, all the action is on Saturday with the top two clashing. The winners of Ghent and Mechelen will be top by the end of the night. Elsewhere, St. Troden are at Leuven and it's Westlow against Standard Liège. The relegation playoffs pair Courtrijk with Or WDM and Charleroi with Eupen. Friday night, by the way, sees the final round of the Challenger Pro League with five teams vying for the last remaining automatic promotion place. Until then, from Will Downing and the Pro League team in Brussels, enjoy your football.